Welcome back. I am Miss Biz, and we are in Southern Elsewhere with more dinosaur birds. Darn dinosaur birds. And it looks like I'm looking to enter Canarthi's Breath Temple. Canarthi's Breath Temple, home to sweet winds and pleasant chimes. You're Zaji, I don't like your tone. Is there something you're not telling us? Uh, uh, well, uh, this one may not have left home on the best of terms. Oh, I'm sorry, Zaji. I didn't mean to pry. Do you want to wait outside? Lovely. Uh. Okay, that was an odd load screen. I did not realize how short this guy was. Like, I realize I'm a high elf, so I'm tall, but oh my goodness, you were short. No time like the present, yes? Let's head into the temple. You sound especially sketchy. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Mother, it's been so long. Out! Out of this temple! You disrespect your Narthi with your very presence! <laughs> Please! This is important. We're trying to save all of elsewhere. Then this one will speak with your companions. As for you, out! Oh! Not Zaji very will, happy to see uh, you! Wait outside. Zaji claims you seek to save elsewhere, yes? Kedali doesn't believe anything that comes out of that insolent cop's mouth. But you should not be judged for his failings. Why have you come here? Elsewhere is in danger. We seek the dragon Yagrandu to help us save it. A noble quest. Unfortunately, this temple will be of little help. We lost one of our sacred temple bells many years ago. We have not been able to call upon Kanathi's guidance ever since. What happened to the temple bell? Tedali's Jekosita by son stole it. That is why Zaji is no longer welcome in this temple. Still, Kanathi shows grace in all things, even betrayal. If you find the bell and return it, this one will search for your dragon. Okay. Wait a second. So is that Zaji stole the bell? All right, I'll see if I can return your bell. Once you return the bell, Tedali will call the winds of Ganathi to lead you to what you seek. Should all go well, they will take you to this dragon. I want to hear more about this incident with Zaji. Why Zaji would perform such sacrilege is beyond this one's wisdom. It wasn't that Adali was surprised he left. Anyone could see his paws itched for travel, but to steal from our holy temple. Aw, oh, man. Why did you offer to help us if you're still so angry with Saji? Adali did not become clan mother of Black Heights for holding a grudge. Anyone who seeks to help elsewhere against these terrible dragons deserves our aid. Even if it means dealing with Adali's treacherous son. Hmm. Well, tell me about Canarthi's Breath Temple. This is a place of worship dedicated to Canarthi, goddess of the winds. She fills Gariti sails and guides our ships to safe harbor. She carries the souls of the departed to the sands behind the stars and leads our heroes to glory. And Canarthi helps you find lost things? We pray to Canarthi to share her knowledge, for all of Tamriel feels the caress of her winds. We train to hear her words in the ringing of our sacred bells. Through them, we can find that which is lost. So you must get Zaji to return the bell. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I know what we need to be doing. All right, Zaji. You would think a life devoted to the divines would make Mother a bit more forgiving. Well, what did she say? 
Zaji had trouble hearing your conversation from the other side of the gate. She'll help us, but we need to return a temple bell you stole. Stole? That is not the exact word Zaji would use. Regardless, returning it would be tricky. To purchase the perfect pounce, Zaji sold the bell to the skooma lord, Bahazar the Bull. Said trade involved certain promises. Uh, what sort of promises? Zaji happened to mention that the bell could be used to find things, which is entirely true. Of course, this one had no idea how to use the bell in that way. Bazahar was not pleased when he learned this. So Bazari is also angry with you. Murderously so. Zaji has made a point to keep track of Bazahar's movements to avoid a confrontation. For example, he currently hides out in Moonlit Cove. If we want the bell, we'll have to sneak in and steal it back. All right, well, let's go to Moonlit Cove and get that bell. Moonlit Cove is just south of here, right on the coast. A beautiful place to visit, if you ignore the skooma dealers and the pirates skulking about. <laughs> so you stole the bell to buy your ship? It, in Zaji's defense, he stole a lot of things that night. Besides, how was he supposed to know the bell was so important? The temple has so many, he just thought Mother would replace it. It seems like the bell might be irreplaceable. So Mother claims, but how special can one tiny bell be? Zaji thinks she just wants to punish him, make him run all over Southern Elsewhere to prove how sorry he is. And he will, for the Dragon Guard. But I that hope doesn't so. mean he will like it. Tell me more about Moonlit Cove. The cove's waters are filled with moonlight. Many go to drink from its waters, for its holy properties, you understand. At least they used to. Now a skooma lord has taken over, laying claim to the sacred water and attacking anyone who enters. Well, what does the skooma lord want with the sacred water? Ugh. Bazahar has some harebrained scheme. Probably thinks the moonlit water can be used to make more potent moon sugar, which in turn could make more potent skooma. But what does Zaji know about skooma? <laughs> Less than you might think, yes. Where in the cove can I find Bazaar? No idea. Zaji knows he's there, somewhere. But Zaji has never gone in for a closer look. We'll just have to do what Zaji does best. Improvise. All right. I'm getting a lot of random load screens here. Um, oh, and this is the cove I just did. But you know what else is down there? I maybe did go to, uh, to Skyrim just to unlock antiquities. I didn't actually do any story or anything. Um... And I might have accidentally run thinking I needed to run somewhere for the quest, but I didn't. But anyways, didn't do any quests or anything. But I did unlock antiquities, and I have one to dig up over there. So, guess I'm, uh, gonna do that right now. There is a chest. Which is glowing if you're like, how do you make your chest glow like that? Um, there's actually, like, a Kenai version now of chests. Oh, this is, haha, <laughs> this is my... PvP build, because Major Mayhem is on right now as I record this. Um, that's from the Antiquities skill line. I don't know if it's from... It's probably from the Scrying skill line. Could be from Excavation. Nonetheless, it's something to do with Antiquities as a passive you unlock. So... Come on, let's get in that dig site. Okay, now that we're in the dig site... It up? Oh, it's not up there. All right. Let's dig some things. All right. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada bing. Bada boom. All right. So I think I know where it is. So we'll go like this. Oh, sorry. Do actually want to do all of this though? Okay. And because I do believe that this is one of the easier ones, so I don't want to dig too deep and wreck the antiquity. See, there we go. All right, perfect. Let's uh, uh D. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. 
Perfect. Uh, let's get back, use the big shovel, see if we can find ourselves some extra loot. Oh, really? Oh, somehow I accidentally did that. I didn't mean to. Oh, well, got ourselves some extra loot. Come on, there should be more. Oh, no. Oh, that's how I'm accidentally doing it. Yes! Look at that. New lead acquired. What a unique and fascinating weapon. It's spear-like in shape, but massive in size. Only a giant could properly wield such a tool. A pomerat, maybe? No, it's still too big. Look at that. Now we're able to scry some more. Well, I'm going to do some scrying. I know this isn't necessarily southern elsewhere stuff to be done, but uh, might as well do it now. Let's see. That one was simple enough. Oh, uh, where are we going to have to dig? Way up there! Well, whatever we're in that area is when we'll dig it out. I'm not going to go after it right now. And I guess we're going back into this delve that we've already been in. I'm sorry, I did not realize it would be part of the main story. So, no more skooma quest. Just find Buddy and the bell. Zaji used to explore this place as a cub. Here, sniff out where Bazahar is hiding. Um, apparently over that way. I'm just going to go the way I think I know, Zaji. Uh, I don't think we need to listen to you. You know what? I still have more mid-year mayhem to do, so I'm just gonna leave my PvP skills on here. And by PvP, I mean battlegrounds. I haven't stepped foot in Cyrodiil during mid-year mayhem. I just do my uh, Imperial City dailies and I do my daily battleground quest and uh, I call it good. I own all the Second Legion style pages because I bought them with gold. <laughs> I did not earn them, but some things it used to be really all about. I still a lot of things I do want to earn, but PvP I'm like, yeah, I can buy it with gold. I'm okay with that. Are you down below? Yes, you are. Ooh, gangbuster. Is he fishing? No, he has a giant spear thing like we were just talking about. Ugh, that's edge. This must be where Bazahar's hiding. Come, Walker. Let's talk. What do we need to talk about? Bazahar's stench is unmistakable. He's locked himself in this chamber. Probably has his loot nearby, too. Hopefully, that includes the bell. We just have to figure out how to get inside. Any ideas? When Zaji lived here, he used this cove to get away from Mother's constant nagging. It was also a good spot to bring the lovely sweetmeats, yes? Oh back goodness. in the day, Zaji even snagged a key to the back chambers from a sleeping moon priest. You have a key to Bazar's hideout? It wasn't his hideout then, but yes. Well, no. Zaji knows where he left it, though. Come, Walker. Zaji has a lockbox hidden nearby. Okay. That ladder, it should be here somewhere. Seriously, buddy? Uh, where are we going? We're gonna make some things, man. Oh, maybe not. Whew, it's kind of weird, I hear. Thunder in game. Sheet would make better rugs than crew. But it's also s has been raining, it's supposed to storm where I am, so I'm like, is that in game? All right. Um, There's the... See that alcove up ahead? Okay. It was Zaji's secret spot when the cove contained less Bazahar. That's where you'll find the key. 
<laughs> the ladder this one used is missing. Oh, if only we had... Wait, Zaji has something that will help. Do you have any idea of how to get to the alcove? This grappling bow. Zaji found it in the sanctum before we left for Black Heights. He thought it might come in handy. Looks simple enough to use. Just aim and pull the trigger. Like a crossbow, yes? Then the rope propels you upward. I know how to use grappling bow. It came in handy when we were searching for the Horn of Jadari. You are an expert. Oh, all right then. There's a grapple point on the edge of some nearby scaffolding. Aim for that and let the bow do the rest of the work. All right, I'll use the grappling bow to reach the alcove and search for the key. Remember, look for a lockbox. That's where young Zaji stored his most precious items. Well, <laughs> before he acquired the perfect palms. Zaji will keep watch from down here. Uh, we only have one grappling bow, yes? All right, well, tell me more about this key and secret chamber. Zaji grew bored spending all his time in the temple. All the praying and cleaning and chanting. So, Zaji would come here. He hid away high in an alcove so the moon priest wouldn't find him and stole a key so he could explore the back rooms. Wasn't your mother angry you neglected your duties in the temple? Oh, yes. She screeched and scowled at Zaji's blasphemous disregard of his chores every time he returned home. Eventually, Mother realized the less we saw of one another, the better it was for both of us. Is that why you left Black Heights for good? Because you thought your mother wanted you gone? Zaji left to pursue a life of adventure. The open seas offer far more than a small town such as Black Heights. But this one will admit that his strained relationship with his mother made for a painless parting. Oh, Kind of sad. Alright, so... What? Oh, no! Uh. Oh, can I get up over here? Please, I can get up over here. I can. Good. I made everything mad at me! Come on, buddy! Perfect. Alright, so where was this grappling point? I thought there was one on the side of the scaffolding. Oh, there. Aha! Ooh, I couldn't even really see that, but... <gasps> oh, look at that! That's a nice little hideout. I wonder what else is here. Okay. This make a good place to raise eggs, but stills work too. Someone comes. It's Saji by the door. All right, all right, I can do that. Go in. Oh gosh, of course he leaves me alone. Why would he help? That would be helpful. All right, Zaji. In we go. Oops, being caught. Looks like we're not the only ones. Heading back here. All right, let's go inside. Ooh, look at all the urns. Stay upwind of Bazaar. He's rotten. That's him, Bazaar the bull. Go get him, Walker. Go get him, Walker. Oh. Um, do I want to wait for this other person? Might as well. Boom! All right, dead. That's it, my draw. Show them what for. All right, all done. Now I just need to loot all the things. You know, I really wish when they put an alchemy station out, that they would actually allow you to use that alchemy station. In my opinion, you should be able to. It's just kind of nice to have like this random alchemy station that you can sometimes use. <gasps> There's the temple bell. Look at that. Old Rodmel actually kept the bell. Why are you so afraid and staying back there? I guess we'll go see. All right, buddy. No. Oh. You're already leaving out. Hello? 
Zaji? Uh, apparently Zaji pieced out. So I guess we'll head back to Kanarthi's Press Temple. Well, we have a really, really long journey back. So I think it's best that uh, carry on and we'll meet up again next time when I get back to Kanarthi's Breath Temple and hopefully we can uh, those that missing bell can help us find our dragon. So thank you for joining me. Bye for now.